Warriors Lakers. Warriors lost game one at home to the Lakers. Uh, <laughs> it was interesting. They were down big. They came back. Jordan Poole had the shot. A lot of people made fun of him for taking it at all and being so far away from the basket and a lot of people felt you know it was open steve kerr defended him do you think the lakers are going to win this series i mean how do you think it's going to go oh you're going to ask me that Not, well first i was going to say like i apologize for saying the warriors were going to lose that last series and they were down 2-0 it looks it was looking bleak i don't remember what you i think i think you were leading on my side too a little bit more like you were a little doubtful you were doubtful at least you might not I was starting to feel doubtful but i don't think i ever picked against them that was that was just rough. And again, it's like, what does Steve Kerr even do, man? What does this guy do? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. It's, it's been multiple games through. I'm like, Jesus, I feel like I could pick a better rotation than this guy. But yeah, when I saw Jordan Poole shoot that deep three, it was like, I don't care how hot this guy is. That's not your range, buddy. That's not your range. That's Stephen Clay range. I don't care how hot you are. I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I love, this is why I love the NBA playoffs. Like, it's hard to be a fan during the regular season because it's like, it's hard to keep track, first of all. And second of all, yeah. these guys don't care about it. This, these right. are the series that really get my blood flowing because I know hella Warriors fans are friends of mine and family and I'm also Lakers fans. So it's like it's like Civil War Avengers style. So it's just so fun. And look, I got I got I got to represent for the culture. I think Lakers are going to win in seven. I think it's going to go Lakers in seven. The Warriors are the Warriors are. And hey, don't laugh at me. I know where you live, guy. I'll, I'll find you. I like that you said representing for the culture. Like, I don't even know what that means in this context. But I like for the it. Lakers culture, but maybe OK, fair enough. I know show. where you live. OK. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, you know, don't don't <gasps> laugh at me. We, we got beef. I got cameras all around my house, man. I, I, I would have you on eight cameras so quick, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Scarface, where he has that room where he has like all those like TVs and stuff. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's how I feel about this game, man. I think the Warriors are still gonna win. That's how I feel. Straight up. No, here's I have re I have I have I have reasons. So Anthony Davis was just too much, right? And I think people that think the Lakers are going to win the series, like you, or think like, man, Anthony Davis is too good. Like the Warriors have no answer. All I'm going to say is in the fourth quarter, the Warriors won that period 24-21. Anthony Davis had two points on one of five shooting. Once the Warriors get Draymond Green on Anthony Davis, I've seen it so many times. Anthony Davis doesn't want to smoke. He's soft. S-O-F-T. Soft. And in the fourth quarter, when you put Draymond on him, he doesn't want it. He will disappear but in the game last night it was a weird game with all those fouls and then he got a freaking technical uh, and it still came down to a three so that's gonna keep happening jose and i'm not even a niner fan but i just want to point that out i mean warrior fan or a niner fan you're both you have both fans <laughs> no i think uh I, 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 that, that doesn't that doesn't make sense because when Draymond got in that early foul trouble he was on the bench andy davis just teeing off and oh it's look i think i think it's really going to come down to like can the can the warriors actually get more out of their bench points can they can they actually miraculously because that's that's what's clear cut to me it's like the warriors are more of a team the, the war i mean excuse me the lakers are more of a team the warriors is like steph and who the hell else is going to step up in the past it was always like we're most likely going to see clay or pool or someone else step up it's like who, where's that going to come from they had they had yeah Lo looney's I, not going to be like scoring in this series Looney's gonna have a tough time with Anthony Davis. It's not Sabonis. Yeah, he's, gonna, here. he's not gonna have as easy offensive rebound. He's not Sabonis anytime. Like he anymore. Get Sabonis is soft. That soft being said, though, I feel like what you saw when, when Davis was in the game, he scored a bunch, but I feel like he gave it back on the other end because anytime the Warriors did like a screen handoff above the three point line with Anthony Davis's man doing the screen, like he wouldn't come up. He would just stay back and you'd have that. wide open threes. Huh? Unless it was like awesome. unless it was like the guards, I don't think anyone else they were telling to come up that way because they're just like we'll, right. just, we'll just live with that because and also I think they were settling for it right. That's kind of the big reason why they weren't getting as much free throws. It's like, dude, you're taking all these J's. How how do you expect to get yeah. all these fouls then? But the, isn't that the the hallmark of a tired team? Like you just played a seven game series. You just played two days ago. You shoot fifty five threes. Like it's yeah, it's, I it's think easy to shoot fifty five threes, right? It doesn't take it's it takes way less energy than driving. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's why it was kind of obvious the Warriors are gonna lose this game. It was like, dude, they gotta yeah. play two days later. Like, Jesus, man! And I, the Lakers have been crazy. Yeah, there's not a single two day break in any of the series. Well, maybe after, but in the first four games, there's not. That's crazy to yeah. me. That's freaking yeah. crazy. And I'm over here like, okay, cool. It's like I'm looking at the schedule for the rest of the week, right? Because there's UFC Saturday and Canelo's fighting. So I'm like, cool, it's fight night Saturday. Hopefully the game's on Sunday, so I have a huge weekend. It's like, no, the game's on Saturday. I'm like, the game's on Saturday. There's only a one day break. God, man, it's like. 
the this is why I think it's gonna go yeah. like back and forth a lot. I, the not, Lakers, I mean, the Warriors are already kind of tired. Lakers can get tired yeah. too. I can see yeah. that. I think the Warriors might have a slight edge in that sense, but I, I think that's why we're looking at a six seven game series because like, dude, these battle of attrition is real on these teams, man. So I mean, it's it's, it's what also be- was interesting about this is like Anthony Davis is the best player in the Lakers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He's like LeBron is was a, is a good number two, but like he's not the same guy he was three years ago. Like, first of all, he can't shoot. No, he's terrible at shooting. Can't shoot, and he can't really initiate your offense anymore. So he's like setting screens, cutting to the basket. Like, I'm not used to seeing LeBron do this stuff. So like he he, he had a great game one. Like he impacted it in so many different ways. But like that's who he is now. Like he's not necessarily gonna be leading them in scoring or. Or, or assists. It's very interesting. Like, AD has to t- play like this every time in this game, in this series, for them to eliminate the Warriors. D'Angelo Russell gives him, like, that nice little spot up in those random kicks. Yeah. He, he had, like, several good, like, passes to facilitate that. So, I, I, I think he's a good X factor. I think the X factors is him and Jordan Poole. You can get that Jordan Poole he did in game one without the necessary, like, he, he checked three at the end. I think you're good. Because I was watching him. I was like, okay, Jordan Poole saves his best playoff performance against the Lakers. Now, that's great. Awesome. It's like that was his best game by far because everything else has just been Russell Westbrook 2.0 from him. He's he's so I know, he's been so bad. I don't know what he's doing or where his head's at. He keeps seeming like it seems like he wants to make it about himself and like yes, get get a bunch of glory. But when he just takes Russell open Westbrook. shots, exactly. When he just takes open shots, he's good. Like I think he had no turnovers last year, last night, and like no, seven assists. Like, like just, dude, stop Beautiful. doing too much. You, they want you to shoot. Just shoot the open shots, and and you'll be good because he's so bad on defense. Like, you can't be a liability on offense, too, man. You can't be – yeah. So, I, mean, I still think the Warriors are going to win the series. What? Because the same way you just said, like, I I, I believe it. I don't, I don't think they're going to close out too much too often or early, especially on the shooters, especially pool. I think they're going to try to, like, live with that and just, like, try to get the – They're going to die with that. To, to, to your point, the, the, the Lakers were more rested than the Warriors in this game one. I think it was – predictable that the Warriors would lose game one but the fact that the Warriors shot 40 percent from three does not bode well for the Lakers because usually when the Warriors can do that in a series they win they find a way to win they're too good you got to take that away I don't know if they can I don't know if they can Clay was on fire too well actually no Clay started on fire the first quarter first half and he he really dropped down he really dropped pool kind of splurged it and obviously Curry does his um but yeah, I think that that guy Jamichael Green had two threes. That was right again. This is this is so you, random. Like, you they're open. You, you Jamichael Green get Stewie on you, Lakers. Come on, what are you doing? They're open. I mean, if you if you give these guys warm up threes, Jamichael will hit that. Like he's been around. I call him Jamichael because I know him like round. that. Now he's all of a sudden knocking back to back threes. God. Different God. matchup. Different matchup. Like Curry in the first round was just putting on a layup clinic. I think he got his, his floater block four or five times last night. Like, it's going to be a whole... The, the Warriors aren't going to be able to just score inside like they did against the Kings. They're going to have to shoot and shoot and shoot and f- uh, defend without fouling. Such a contract. They've done that in the past. Yeah, it's way different. Because the Kings were going to run all day. The Lakers aren't trying to run. No, the Kings were playing. I think they would have got blown out in that first game, even though it was a seven-game series of the Lakers. I think that would have been their worst matchup. Official BNA Music 88 says, bet folks wanted Draymond to punch pool last night. <laughs> yeah, I saw tweets saying that. Everyone, you know what's about, you know what I've been seeing the most commonly of tweets and even in group chats is like, I get now why pool got punched. I just get why, you know, we talked about it after the, uh, two weeks ago. And I'm like, look, Draymond, you, st- you, you cross the line. And it's like, damn, now I'm starting to feel like I get it. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to condone violence in that way because I feel like you can just chew them out and just let, but it's like, man, it's like, this guy's, that, once he that doesn't goes, get it. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He and just he, doesn't get it, man. That video, uh, I don't know if it was game, it was game six where like Draymond's trying to like, or someone's trying to console him. And he just grabs his arm, and just throws him. Or throws Draymond. Him out of the way. Just like, get off Draymond. Me, and people. then apparently Steph came over and said, this shit isn't helping. It's like, bro, like, Jordan. what are you doing? I also read and like. what's crazy was he could have been the hero last night. Like he played so well. He was like five or seven from three, but he does too much. He has a couple good plays and he starts like, playing to the crowd it's like dude you're the sixth man on the team just chill it's not your moment it's not your stage it's not your team it's not your crowd just stop embarrassing yourself everyone is cringing watching you do this stuff like oh god like he is the the warriors version of like dylan brooks it's like dude (laughs) stop 
Without Stop. Yeah, they're like, going to kick you off the team. Like, like uh, uh, <laughs> this guy, Americ says trade pool for Trey Young. Hawks don't want pool for Trey Young. They say, no, thank you. I think the Hawks are trying to trade Trey Young, though. That's why I've been hearing or seeing. Oh, maybe. Okay, do that. I'll take I'll take Trey Young. We talk about the of these guys. Like I also saw something else about like I think uh Marcus Thompson wrote about it about how saying on that game seven how Steph's doing the speech, right? And like if you if you bought in, go to the game bus. Get on the bus. Out, you can be mature, stay out. And it was supposedly specifically towards Jordan Poole and Jonathan Kaminga. And it's like, what are you two sniping about? You're in the playoffs, first of all. And of yeah. course, Steph's gonna be the one who's gonna have to be the star. Are you freaking kidding me? You're playing with the top 10 best basketball player of all time. You're over here gonna think like this is your moment to shine. Get the hell yeah. out of here. That's why I think it's so pathetic about those two players. It's like, dude, yes, Kaminga got a bat, a raw deal with Anthony Lamb and it's curse screwing him, but it's like it's the playoffs time now, guys. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to do what we gotta do to win. And if you're there, <laughs> Like stand aside. Let let the play let let your stars take over. Also, the reason that Kerr goes with Anthony Lamb in the regular season over Kaminga is that Anthony Lamb is willing to play a role. Like Kaminga gets in the game and doesn't know what his role is. He doesn't execute a role particularly well. He wants to be a superstar. Like that's why you're not playing, dude. Because you don't rebound. You don't defend. What can they count on you to do well? Nothing. You can't shoot. But you're supposed to just be like gifted minutes so you can develop. Well, like not on this team. Are we talking about the Niners or the Warriors right now? Anyway, <laughs> anyway and the difference is to me, like the Warriors have won four championships. They have a proven formula that works. They won last year. Niners don't have that. They're still searching. They think they do. So they, I mean, they might want to experiment a little bit with the, in Santa Clara. The, the Warriors have no time to experiment with anything. They have their formula. You got to fit in and, and do a job. What job are you going to do? Jonathan. Mr. Kaminga. Nothing. Although, I, in the past, didn't he do a good job defending LeBron? I don't know if you need him on LeBron. And he, it's not like LeBron's doing much on offense. Maybe in like the regular know. season games, yeah. Um, Maybe. Because obviously he wasn't there for those championships, Kaminga, five years ago. Um, who is, who is yeah, was he like 14? I wasn't really paying, too, I was too, paying against attention to like D-Lo and stuff like that. I think they were just mixing it in, whoever was there. But at, honestly, if you're the Warrior, you just keep LeBron in that arc. Because I remember before before he made a couple more threes or took a few more shots, I think they said he was 5 of 36 or 5 of 39 from three in that first series against the Grizzlies. And I was like, dear God, I could do better than that. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, Like you said, like he's the perfect number two now. And it's like and that, and that end game sequence, He instead of him taking the ball to the cup, drawing a foul, laying it up, doing what he does best, he settles for a three. It's – this is the thing that just frustrates me about watching LeBron James drive his career. It's just always like something weird. Like he, he just doesn't go with his strengths. And I'm, again, maybe it's because he is 38 now, but still I, I've seen several times he's still able to do that. And the one time you should be able to force it is in the crunch time. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it seems like you're going to have Dre, Draymond on LeBron a lot in this series since LeBron has gotten kind of slow. You're going to have clay on Reeves. I think clay did a great job on Reeves last night. And ideally you want Wiggins on D just like, the uh, the Lakers have um, what's his face Vanderbilt on uh, Curry. You want big, long, athletic guy pressuring They're the ball. All pretty like lanky, so it's like it kind of like that's that's the cool thing about like kind of disrupting a little bit of the shot, even though they shot forty percent. Like I said, but still, it's like they get the shot off so quick. It's like what good does length do? 